All right, welcome back. Ooh. Welcome back to the Vessel Brie, y'all. This is going to be for Sagittarius. All right, all right, do my prime protection. So we're going to get right into it. Okay. Um, your name could be Victoria, or the name Victoria could be very significant. Your name could start with the letter R, or whoever this is going to consist of, be about, right? Whoever you're watching for, it could start with the letter R. All right, somebody could just watch the B movie with their kids or read them Jack and the Beanstalk. I'll be confirmation this is the read for you. Also, I'm getting like new corporations, directory uh, changes. If you work in a, um, a firm, um, work with like databases or on a computer, um, getting like, like science, okay, or in the law, healthcare. There's going to be um, new corporations or, or uh, directory changes. Like you could be getting a new um, a new boss or a new HR. Um, rep yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, something about um. I don't know how do you say it. Aesthetics, yeah, aesthetics enhancer as a career. So this could be you or um. This is what you're you're looking towards doing. This would be confirmation for you, or if you work with aesthetics, or you like that. I'm I'm saying this right, right? Um, enhancing that, or taking photography of, of like makeup, or people doing makeup, or doing your makeup and taking pictures of them. TikTok, Instagram, that could really be um like drastic makeup. I'm not saying drag, y'all. I'm just saying like different. Why am I getting like Doja Cat alien type makeup? looks good on you like with the dots and stuff and like something about doing that um you could be doing you could actually be very good at doing that as a, as a career as a passive career okay if you were thinking about that all right also um somebody is in love with you and as i say that we got the king of cups at the bottom of the deck for confirmation right i'm getting someone's dreaming about you they're falling very hard all right like <laughs> now i remember when i was channeling this energy, it was very sexual, honey, okay? Okay. 222, two, two. when I said that, angel number 222, two, two. all right? So this person is trying to keep hope and faith, all right? You guys can be rebuilding trust at this time, or this person um, does trust you, all right? If this is a past person, I feel like this is them keeping hope and faith. This person looks at you as a badass. They look at you as you're full of life, love, possibilities. They love who you are. They love what you offer. You or this person could have Pisces in this in your um in your chart. All right. I'm getting somebody could have an Aquarius rising. Aquarius rising, and Pisces moon. Okay, you could have an Aquarius rising and a Pisces moon or this person that you're dealing with, all right? Or they could just be a Pisces, all right? But I'm getting here, there was some type of heartbreak here that came, whether this is in the in the past, whether this is you or this other person. That's why somebody's resting at this time. They could be spending a lot of time in bed. They're really relaxing, trying to, well, they are. They're healing their heart. But while they're healing their heart, they're waiting on you. All right, or this could be you. They're waiting to take this leap of faith, All right? But they know they have to heal first before they come towards you, yeah. They could also be focused on building their business or they want to work with you to a business. They could be having to heal themselves before they present themselves to you. Um, and a, they want you to look at you in a way of, I don't want to say materialism, but they don't want you to look at them like, um, well, I'm going to get in the song, I don't want no scrub, the scrub is mm -mm, ain't no left for me. And the passenger said, yeah, that's certain dead, trying to alert me. All right, so this person's car, it could be out of commission right now, or something could be given on day. It's not trying to pull up in their best on the side, or they're back in the restaurant's car on the passenger side, trying to holler at you. <laughs> All right, they're trying to get their their um their coins together. All right, they want to be able to offer you. They recognize your worth and their value. They want to be able to offer you that. All right, they want to be able to change their fortune. All right, I also feel like your fortune is changing as well at this time. You could be creating a business, joining a business. You could be creating a legacy. You're you're. You have infinite possibilities. I feel like at this time when it comes to manifestations, all because you've recognized. Um, possibly the law of attraction recently, astrology, you came into contact with your birth chart, your past lives, how different things work, okay? Somebody definitely has Aquarius in their chart. Yeah, 
Yeah, and you never gave up. You listen to the guidance of God of the universe. You could be also listening to advice from someone else specifically that you trust. I'm hearing for someone specifically, it could be your neighbor, your boyfriend's mom. All right, yeah, when it comes to investments, you're at this place wondering if it will be worth it. But in the middle of you wondering if it will be worth it, your balance, your your fortune is literally changing right now as I'm speaking. You're being pulled to the top of the wheel, so it's definitely worth it. Yes, keep investing in yourself, keep investing in your craft, keep investing in your environment, your business. It will be secure, it will be wealthy, it will be successful, it will pay off. For some of you guys, you will be able to buy that um, business or join that partnership. You will be the emperor. All right, stand in your authority, recognize who you are, recognize that you hold the key of life, all right? And one of your gifts, they, they, they left you with the knowledge and wisdom to secure just exactly what you're planning and watering right now at this time, including yourself. So continue balancing out the motions. For some of you guys, continue balancing out your spiritual gifts. You're just now figuring out how to... Um, you could be a tarot reader, you could be um, studying astrology, you could be helping people figure out their birth chart, something you're doing with spiritually, you could, you could be a herbalist, all right, you could be making soups, medicines, okay, whatever it is that you're working on, you could just be highly intuitive, highly gifted, and you're figuring out how to na navigate your gifts that work for yourself, all right, and you're finding out that you have to emotionally detach from certain things, people, places, and communicate your truth in order to balance out who you are and secure your position and your gifts and your spiritual nature, all right? So you started giving yourself more love in order to give others more love, in order to attract more love around and within you. And here comes this person, your emperor, or you recognizing you wanting to impress you, but still looking at where they're at and understanding that some things have to change within their life and their fortune as well in order for them to present themselves and give you this Ten of Cups, which for, you know, is ultimately overall happiness, bliss, love, emotional security, stimulation, everybody's happy, the rainbow. I'm also getting you or this person could be a medium, all right? So you guys have that, or you both could, I'm getting, you guys have that connection where with that other realm that, that you know, is also helping you, you, you channel messages from God, from the divine, from extraterrestrial beings as well. This is, yes, correct. This is one of your gifts, okay? So don't give up. They're not going to give you more than what you can handle. They're giving you just the right, the right amount to strengthen what you already know, which is worth your value, and that you're highly um, spiritual and gifted and spiritually inclined and that your gifts are being heightened. All right. You're learning how to set boundaries, how to stand in your truth, how to communicate, how to be more expressive. All right. So that when you reach this new world, you'll be stripped completely vulnerable and you'll be able to get these new opportunities in your life. You'll be able to get this new um, business, this new beginning, this overall generational ancestral wealth, prosperity, and abundance. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. Okay, some of you guys are going to be coming into a commitment, a marriage. Um, I'm hearing somebody could be buying a home, buying a property here with the devil card here. That could be what you don't see. All right, that could be what you don't see. Uh, you could there also could be traits about yourself, codependencies, addictions that, that you need to dissect about yourself as well that you may not be seeing. Hidden knowledge about yourself is what I'm getting here. But I also feel like there is some type of commitment coming in for you, some type of gift. It could be within the public eye or put you in the public eye, and I feel like it's just exactly what you've been waiting for. So continue to take that leap of faith. Do not be in this 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 place of this this mindset of feeling like your emotions are drowning you. Your emotions are teaching you how to run through the emotions and be just the right amount of vulnerable for you to, you know, be kind of delusional enough to take this leap of faith. It's time to get yourself out of your own illusion, all right, and follow your heart's desires. And some of you guys, it's going to lead you towards this new person where there's an equal take and give, where they really want to work on this relationship. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces, but I definitely feel like this person has a lot of deep emotions, but there's something here um, that you may not trust quite yet. And I honestly feel like that stems possibly from not trusting yourself fully quite yet. But this transformation is going to come here. All right. And when I say not trust yourself, you do trust yourself, but possibly from past experiences or as you learn um, your gifts, you know, it's, it's as you study your intuition and test whether you're following your intuition or not, maybe you get confused or things get jumbled up. And I feel like that's okay. It's also a need to be gentle with yourself and what you're doing. Okay. But also understand that there's a lot goes on as you are gifted and can see the unseen, right? 
there's a lot goes on that you don't have control, just as much as you do have control. All right, so I definitely think there's some communication coming in here that's going to plant you towards this new world, this new beginning, this new cycle. As an ending takes place, a new beginning will open. And it, it's also going to cause for you to communicate and stand in your truth and who you are and not back down and take this leap of faith. All right, and follow your intuition when it comes to this relationship or following what your heart truly desires and makes you happy and to get to work and continue working on it. All right. Get out of the illusions get out of your emotions and it's not even get out of your emotions it's just stabilize them feel secure within them and understand that 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 vulnerability that sensitivity that you carry that you have it's one of your biggest gifts it's what's going to help you sit on this throne as the queen of pentacles it's what's going to get you in this this nature of being able to nurture yourself this position of being able to nurture others financial security stability you know wifey what you want to be you want to be a wife a mother be able to do it all you're going to have to go through this ending first it's like the pain you feel right now, you need to feel it in order to balance out your emotions. So you're wondering if it's worth it? Absolutely, because the judgment has already been made. You just haven't reached the destination yet. You're still in the journey. And this is a reminder for you to understand that as well. Your position, your path, your purpose, what God gave you, your gifts, your destined partner, your destined partner person, it's protected. And it already has your name on it. It's just waiting for you to continue watering it, growing it, and planting the seeds so that you can reap the rewards. Some of you guys are going to be really famous in the public eye. Regardless of public eye or not, you're going to get the equal take, take and give, all right, mentally, physically, spiritually, in every which way possible, all right? So continue what, detaching from things that no longer serve you. Continue balancing out who you are. Continue protecting your position, your energy. And focusing on ending the cycles that you have to end so that you can open up the new opportunities that are not really around you, but are that within you that you have yet manifested, but are in manifestation mode of right now and have manifested. All right. So like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. That is your read. That's what I have for you guys. And peace.